kindly take us through what's happening here today. Okay, so um, there is a major time we do pruning. Mm -hmm. It starts from the onset of the rain. We don't wait till the major raining season before we do pruning. So we define pruning as the removal of dead, unwanted, unproductive, and diseased part of the plant. So we have example of um, a parasite which affects Popo. Sure. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called a uh, mistletoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a parasite. It feeds on the Popo tree mm -hmm. yeah. and attacks it till it kills it. Right. It will reduce productivity drastically mm -hmm. and later um, it will die. The Popo tree will die. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with the pruning, as we defined earlier, we remove unwanted branches. When the cocoa reaches some age, it needs um, just 30% of shade, and the rest should be sunlight, which will be, which will help in the preparation of food. So as we came to this farm, we could see that the farm is very, very cool. And if it happens that way, it serves as a breeding ground for insects, for insects and other fungi infestation. So when you set your camera higher, mm -hmm. you could see that there are a lot of black pots yeah. on the cocoa tree. Yeah, and due because to the of the fact that sunshade yeah. is not going to be yes. that yes. visible. So after this pruning exercise, next year when you come, mm -hmm. you will see that most of the beans are very, very fresh. Mm -hmm. um, insects and fungi will not be able to thrive under. Mm -hmm. And the other one is uh, the interlocking branches. You okay. could see that most of the branches are locked with each other. Sure. When it happens this way, spread of disease is very simple. For example, when about 50 men are packed in a small room with a small body contact, there will be transfer of disease to one another. Just like a prison? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, just like a prison yard. Oh, okay. So with this pruning exercise, we are expecting to increase productivity mm -hmm. since the unwanted branches also take nutrients. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you compare it as uh, maybe 20 people eating from a bowl. Competition will be very, very high. Mm -hmm. But when you reduce the number to five, the level of satisfaction would also be high. So as you could see this tree, okay. we reduce the number of branches by removing the unwanted and the dead ones mm -hmm. from the cocoa tree. Mm -hmm. So after this exercise, mm -hmm. It's only going to increase productivity since the branches and the leaves have been reduced mm -hmm. to leave for the ones that will be productive to bear the fruits. No, okay. Mm -hmm. So I think these are uh, the results we've seen on the floor, the, the ones you've taken off the tree. Yes. Yeah, so, but then I quite remember one of those people have the assertion that uh, the more the branches, the more fruits you are going to have on the uh, tree. <laughs> which is so but what, what i'm seeing here today is an indication that it's absolutely not true yeah to have more branches Co yeah <laughs> cocoa tree is not a vegetative crop it's All a right. fruity crop we are interested in the fruits All right. not the parts we don't use the leaves for other purposes like the quantum ray and stuff for cocoa tree is your pores you need mm -hmm. so when you have more branches as i said earlier they will just be competing for nutrients to survive mm -hmm whilst leaving the formation of food. And also when they are, the nutrients are not sufficient, you could see that the cocoa tree will be there. Sometimes you see the leaves flourishing, mm -hmm. but the post production will go high. So we don't need much branches in cocoa tree. We only leave the productive ones to give us a pause. Mm -hmm. All right. So if just said, so I think viewers are learning something today. Uh, so it's not about the number of um, branches you have on the tree that is going to give you uh, the fruit, more fruits uh, when it comes to cocoa farm. Yes, unlike orange farm and co. So that's what we're learning here. So what other things do you have to teach us uh, apart from all that you've explained? Okay, so with this pruning, we do the removal of the branches mm -hmm. and we also take off uh, the the, those uh, we call it sanitary harvest okay so looking at some of the trees you could see that they have a lot of black black pots on them i think that's so one at the other end that's one here mm -hmm. so we are going to take off okay. all these uh, pots okay to allow for other ones to come oh okay yeah 
Ah. They are all diseased and we have to take them off. Okay. And sometimes we even dig a, a hole and bury all those things to avoid the <laughs> contamination of the farm. Oh. So that's the sanitary harvest. It's, it's the harvest, but that harvest, you don't use it for anything. It's just the black ones mm -hmm. and the little cherries, which we're not able to develop into pots. We remove all those ones. Mm -hmm. And that's the sanitary harvest right, okay. when we are doing pruning. But we advise farmers to also be doing the sanitary harvest mm -hmm. while doing the main harvest okay. Okay. to avoid wasting of other precious mm -hmm. time to come back to the farm mm -hmm. and do sanitary harvest mm -hmm. alone. It's okay. very tedious to walk from the farm to just come and do sanitary harvest mm -hmm. and go back. All right. So what happens to the branches that you chopped off? The yeah. ones we've seen on the floor, like these very ones we've okay, seen. Okay, so what happens to them? So those who don't have firewood rooms, mm -hmm. maybe they can wait till it dry and they use it as firewood. No, right. Also, um, the leaves will sell as a, as a mulch. Oh, okay. Yes. So as you could see, leaves mm -hmm. all over here. Mm -hmm. The leaves would also decompose mm -hmm. with the branches that are cut off to serve as nutrients as well. But it will take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Yes. It doesn't work like the uh, inorganic fertilizer. Right, right. Okay. With this one, it will take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that means, by the explanation you're giving, that means you are going to leave all these ones here. We are going to leave them. Oh, okay. And is it not going to worry the farmer when it's time for harvesting? Because, like, working through all these things. Yeah, so after pruning, mm -hmm. we cut um, the unwanted branch, we okay. chop them mm -hmm. into smaller parts right. to allow for easy decomposition. Okay. Yeah, so we are going to cut them into smaller parts. And mm -hmm. with this one, within one week, after cutting them, you will mm -hmm. come to the farm and you will not even know we've done oh, pruning. All right, that's great. Uh -huh. All right, thank you very much for your time. And I'm seeing two gentlemen helping you with the pruning. I think they are experts. Yeah, yeah. that's very true. Oh, okay. We yeah. employ them to assist us right. and do the pruning exercise. Oh, because okay. you know most of the farmers are aged, okay. who are aged farmers, and they do other crops as well. Mm -hmm. So we we engage these guys to help us in the pruning exercise. Oh, okay, that's good. All right. So when when it comes to the tools and the equipment to be used in pruning, which, which are the tools that can be used in pruning. I saw something I saw like what you hold in, aside from the bottles. And how is okay. this one called? So this is the pruning blade. Okay. Yeah, that is the pruning blade. With this one, it's not advisable for you to climb the tree. Okay. To cut one, the tree is not that strong, you can fall. Mm -hmm. And the other reason is you will cause injury to the tree. And also, you are going to drop a lot of flowers and pots when you climb it. Mm -hmm. So we use this saw to, to allow... Okay, and the other one is a catalyst, Okay. Which we use to prune the shorter ones. Mm -hmm. And also do the chopping as well. Alright. So okay. as, aside from these ones, you don't have any other one that is faster as compared to like... We machine. have an uh, electronic one or... Uh, mm -hmm. It's just in the form of a chainsaw, but farmers don't prefer that one because of the weight. Oh, okay. It's very heavy. And also, it uses petrol and engine oil. Mm. So, to save costs, we rather go in for these simple tools. That but be... with that one, as compared to the which is faster. Okay, so when you are doing very mature farms, like trees that are very mm -hmm. big and other things, such as this one we did here, mm -hmm. that one will go very fast. It will go very fast for us. But you know, due to financial reasons, Purchasing of fuel and other things is a big constraint. Mm -hmm. So we, we advise each farmer to get a pruning blade on his own and a catalyst. A very sharp one. A very sharp one. Mm -hmm. a very sharp okay. one. All right, okay. All right, okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you very much for your time. Sure. All right, so yes, that's what Tio has been able to explain to me. So until then, we would have to you know catch you in another episode. But if this is your first time of visiting our channel to be pleading with you to subscribe and also hit on that post notification bell you see now whenever we upload new videos you would also get a notification or get alert on your device being it your smartphone or your laptop or whatever device you're using accessing the youtube channel thank you and catch you in another episode